Nevermind the Hype was at Roadburn Festival 2017 to sit down with Aaron Turner, frontman of Sumac, and familiar face from bands like Isis, Old Man Gloom, and Mammifer. This is our video interview. I think this is my fourth or fifth time at Roadburn. Um, and I think today was one of the best experiences I've had here. The, all the bands that you, that we just discussed are different enough that, you know, for me, it doesn't feel repetitive. It feels like a new experience every time in that way. I've played uh, in the tiny room, the big room, now the church, and they've all been, um, they've all been very different experiences. And uh, the other artists that we've played with have always been quite eclectic as well. So it's a good, a good gathering ground for like-minded people and for people that I don't often get to see otherwise. You never quite know what is gonna, uh, what's gonna happen and I think that's a good thing as well. Um, <clears throat> to be honest, the church to me was a better it was just a better vibe than the big main stage. Uh, the main stage is cool, but it's like, I always feel so far away from my band members and from the audience. This was definitely more intimate, which for me uh, makes the transference of energy more palpable, which I think is cool. Um, and I think it also just depends on the day. Not every day when you're touring is the same, which is a good thing. Um, and uh, this was just a particularly good day. This is, uh, the fourth day into our tour now. And I feel like we're really just starting to warm up now. So I feel like having a few days to prepare for this was really beneficial. I have to say that there have been off days that unfortunately transpired at a festival. Today was a day that felt like a good day. So I'm pleased about that. Well, there's certainly a lot of anxiety around music and around the the process of being a musician and and also social anxiety. I'm not like um, um, an extroverted person by nature. I definitely value my privacy and value my my quiet home life. So to go out into the world is is definitely um, a challenge for me. Uh, but again, it's also a welcome challenge. It's a way for me to try to break out of my comfort zone, which I think is necessary. Um, and it's also helpful in terms of uh, opening my perspective uh, up a bit. I, I, As much as I like my quiet life at home, it can be very insular. So it's good to get out into the world and be sociable and connect with other people. Um, as far as the performance itself, uh, I mean, there's nerves before playing sometimes, but I don't think that anxiety is something that's directly um, perceptible to me when I'm playing. In fact, that's one of the things that I enjoy about playing music is that a lot of my uh, the a lot of the busyness in my brain has a tendency to dissipate. My thinking mind kind of recedes a bit when I'm playing, and I feel like there's stuff from a deeper level of consciousness that. Uh, comes to the fore through the process of playing music and that's definitely one of the main reasons that I do it is I can dispense with the worried mind and connect with something that to me feels more like the the inner core of being We're home for about uh, five or six weeks, and then we go to Japan, uh, touring over there with a band, a Japanese band called Endon, who are a favorite band of ours. So we're looking forward to that. And also, while we're there, we'll be doing a performance with Keiji Hino, um, which for us is also an exciting prospect. So that's the next thing in the immediate future. The first goal is just a live performance. Um, 
which will be recorded and uh will we'll, i think the the main goal there is just to have a successful live show um and if we get a recording out of it that uh, all all involved feel good about then uh we'll we'll try to present that as an album as well uh but i think that this is we're not looking at this as a sumac record it really is a collaborative effort um, and then for the rest of the year, we've got some, uh, some plans for recording, which, uh, another album, which will be the next big investment for us. Uh, I've been working on a lot of the the basic structures for the next album on my own and starting to talk about the ideas with uh, my other bandmates and we'll slowly start putting the pieces together. Um, I like the purity of our, of our specific trio. Um, part of the intention with starting this band was that we wanted to do um, something that was very minimal in terms of the instrumentation and also the approach to recording. A lot of times a studio can be used as an instrument in and of itself. You have a lot of time to layer and add additional instrumentation. And I think that that has its place, but for Sumac, the intention is, is minimalism um, in a lot of ways, or maybe a minimalist palette, but also trying to um, maximize what we can get out of that very limited uh, palette, if that makes sense. More extensive road burn coverage, keep it right here on Nevermind the Hype. I am scared of loud noises. <laughs>